So today I wanted to do uh, how to draw the cicada. Uh, I've been asked to do more invertebrate how to draws, so here we go. The red-eyed cicada, this is found in northwest Tasmania, or northeast Tasmania as well. Uh, beautiful um, black cicada with these blood red eyes. So here's one climbing up a tree. We're going to do one. I have done a cicada video before and there's a link to that. So this video here is a link down in the description of this video. Um, but this time I want to draw it side on climbing. I kind of like those front claws. It reminds me of the Mothram in the latest Godzilla flick. It's kind of cool. Get out your pencil and paper. We are going to be drawing this with just a pencil. I'd say pick a 2B, 3B or 4B. Okay, I draw a cicada. We're starting off with what looks a bit like an upside down tear shape. This is the head and the body. As you can see on the left, I've put up the finished drawing. So you know what I'm up to here. No surprises. And just sort of working out the shape of the head. We're going to just put a line here. That's the back of his neck. Or her neck. I don't assume a gender here. That little circle is where the wing's going to go. We're going to drop down a triangle here. And that's the wing. We're now going to work on that wing. We're going to round off these points. Now I'm going to pop in some skinny long letter U shapes like this. Doesn't matter if your drawings are not perfectly the same, because living things are all different. I might fit another one in there, which means I have to extend the wing out a little bit there, but that's fine. Now, some other letter U's, and, or oh, big long teardrops really, and notice how the rounded bits, they link up with one of the lines going up. There you go, now you've got those nice wings that look like glass, stained glass, or look like fairy wings. Just shaping that a little bit, and I'll probably come back over this wing and darken up some bits. And this bit I wanted to fix up there, because where I extended it, always good to have an eraser close by. One eyeball there. And another eyeball on the other side of it. We'll just work on the bit of the head. Shape this a little bit more. And there's the other eyeball. So you can see we put the original shape down, but we're sort of carving into it a bit. Stick in the far wing over there. Yeah, it's a tricky bit. Uh, we want to put some legs in here somehow. So see how I've put three very, very gentle sort of ovals there. And now I'm sort of chunking them up a bit. So the oval's a guide as to where they would be on the body, but then they get covered up a bit. And here comes another leg. They're kind of sort of rounded, triangular shapes. And then you've just got two lines coming down for the leg. We'll do another one here. See how they sort of taper and they get thinner. And we're doing that leg there. So a few strokes. You always stop the video, catch up if I'm going too fast. I'm not going to speed up any of this you can sit here for the whole 12 minutes and copy if you want and like I say you just pause the video I'm doing the shine in the eye now and I'm going to be shading in part of the eye just like you see on the left there so 
They're cute little things, cicadas. That when I was in America, I heard people calling them cicadas. So it's funny little differences between the English speaking cultures. See how I'm making a bit fluffy? This particular cicada is sort of very fluffy. Some nice fluffy bits. <laughs> like a big blowfly. Yeah, put a bit of a beard on him. Some bristles there. And it's got a little sort of a bit coming out like that. No, that's it. Yeah. Even more manly now. He's got a beard. Another little segment there. So I'm going to segment his body there a bit. It's just a few lines here and there. Certainly making it, again, that sort of zigzaggy line to make it look fluffy. Work out where that wing is. And I'm going to have to do some segmenting here. So a little bit of shade. And here I'm working out where the segments are. You see it. It's going to be tricky because the wing's in front, so there's going to be bits that I'm going to leave. You can always get the eraser and fix it if you get it wrong. But here I'm shading above the wing. And in the wing I'm just going to do gentle shading. Like you're looking through a glass. I'm going to give the illusion that it's a transparent wing. That's what makes this one a bit trickier. So this is somewhere in between a beginner and an intermediate drawing, I guess. If you're finding this difficult, let me know. If you're finding it easy, let me know. If you give me feedback, I'll know how to do better, how to draw videos. So you can sort of see how this works. I'm actually drawing the spaces between the segments of the wing. Now, darkening this up because that cicada had this beautiful dark, almost like stained glass window patterns in its wings. So I'm making those really stand out. good and one of the other little handy hints here is don't do it too slow and carefully so do it at a certain pace to keep the lines smooth still just darkening up some of those lines so like I say, I want to try and get it almost like a stained glass window look. And a little bit of detail of the other wing through here. Just a slight suggestion of it. There we go. Just gentle shading here and there. I'll heavy up this wing here and make it look a bit even with the rest of it. And then it's time to work on the underside here. Now I'm just going to press hard. So I'm using a 3B pencil. Uh, 2B, 4B, they're all really good ones to draw with. They're sort of soft. You press hard, you get it quite dark. And I just press harder and even get it darker than that. They're nice in that you, you know, gentle touch, you've got a nice soft grey, press harder, you've got almost a black. So right now I'm pretty much going over what I have already done. And if you've got to this stage, you can almost finish it yourself by looking at the picture on the side there. I'm going to put some little bit of shade here in a minute. So the next trick is to get it to look like it's sitting on the side of a piece of bark. But first I'll just finish 
putting a bit of shade here on the legs just darkening up between the legs just finishing that off because it's got a little bit of light shining on its back and underneath it's quite dark between where the legs are coming out the far leg there just, okay I'm just going to put a mere suggestion of it now I still need to probably go a bit darker but I'm going to pop in a bit of the tree here once I get the tree in it's going to be easier to put the shading in under it So this is just sort of squiggly, uneven lines to make it look like the side of a tree. A bit of wood texture. So they do like to climb up their trees. So now, a little bit of shade under here. And here, if you was to check out my How to Draw a Redback Spider, you'll sort of see how I do the shading. And I'll put a link to that below. But here you see, as we get under the cicada, the shading gets heavier. And maybe just a little bit under the foot, but between the body and the foot, the shading gets a little bit lighter. We're getting close to the end here. Just adding a little bit more detail to the shade. Just refining just a little bit of the of its backside there. So a little bit of shade under the wing as well. And there you have it. I'm hoping this is useful for you. Look, it doesn't matter if you're a beginner, an intermediate, uh, or even advanced, you might pick up some tips from this video, or you might be able to, what you learn from this video, go and find something for yourself to draw, and maybe you've picked up some of those hints. I hope you have. If so, leave a comment below and let me know. And also, ask what else you might want me to draw. I have got a massive list, but always willing to listen. See you in the next video.